so let's make it a raffle again para alam natin kung anong babasahin ko next so guys tingnan natin kung ano yung next kong babasahin so So guys, ang napili natin ay Always and Forever Lara Jean by Jenny Han. Since yun ang napili natin, yun yung last book ng trilogy ni Jenny Han. So ang una natin babasahin pag ganun is yung book 1. Ang title ay To All the Boys I Love Before. So ito yung next natin babasahin. Meaning, yung trilogy ang babasahin natin. Sabi ko kasi pag isang napili ko doon sa trilogy, ibig sabihin, yung unang book mo na, then yung last. So, ang next natin mabasahin is To All The Boys, I Love It For, and then Here's Any Of You, and then yung napili natin, Always and Forever Love. Kasi yun yung yun ang book 3 nito. So, we will go na with this book. This book is about total of uh, 300 55 pages. So, yeah. So, what will happen actually, guys? This is movie. Yes. If you search it in a Google, you are gonna find the movie of this book. So, yeah. See you in, in the other video. boys I love before and this is my first time to read this book so I didn't watch the movie but I saw the trailer in the YouTube channel and this is a story of a girl in love with the boys but I don't know if these are all her boyfriends or maybe they are all her crushes so it says here that it, uh, it is the story of Lara Jean. She has two sisters, Kitty and Margot. And yeah, 
And do sa nabasa ko at ngayon, mm, sa nababasa ko pa lang na page, I am at page 6, I am chapter 2, and it says there that um, yung kanyang sister ay mag aaral sa Scotland and his sister niya ay may boyfriend name is Trash so si Jess, parang crush niya I don't know ha, pero alis siya yung sister niya and iiwan si Jess and ayun, pinapagtanggol niya si Jess na makipag break yung sister niya kasi mag aaral na sa Scotland ay malayo so sinabi ng kapatid niya sa kanya na Siguro hindi mo naman kakainin yung mga... Parang sa pagkaintindi ko yung mga tira-tira. Yung mga gano'n eh. Si Miss yung boyfriend niya yung gano'n sabi. Tapos hindi niya pinansin. Tapos, ayun, nandun pa lang yung story. So, let's see what we're gonna happen this, to this. Ano, ano to? Kung yung story to, baka kagito all the boys I love before. <laughs> so, yeah. And... Let's see what we're gonna happen. I'm going to eat muna my lunch. And yeah, it's a rainy day here in the Philippines. It's always raining here in my room. <laughs> so yeah, see you later. We will see what's gonna happen if I'm gonna make a vlog later. So yeah, see you. Hi guys. So, yeah, good evening. So, I feel boring about the story. Dito sa to all the boys I love before. Because, it doesn't mean that this is not a good story. But, you know, for me, I feel bored because there's a lot of story when it comes to her friends. They're always, um, storying a lot that which um nawawala na yung story niya doon sa mga boys na sinasabi to all the boys I love for parang yung story focus din sa family sa life nila as family like that and do sa mga French niya. Pero when it comes to the boys, do sa title itself, parang hindi ko pa, hindi ko pa nakikita kung nasaan yun to all the boys I love before. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I was not pa dun sa peak, peak na ibig sabihin itong book, yung book na to. Maybe I was not at the peak story. Yung pinakang peak ng story na kung saan speak for the title of the book itself. So, naboboring ako kasi nahanap ko yung yung apatawa ng story na bakit to the boys I love before. Maybe do sa pelikula kasi maganda kasi pinakita doon yung 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 boys na sinasabi like yun ang mabilis. Pero dito sa libro, una sa una pa lang parang pinito niya yung family niya lahat about sa family and everything pero doon sa to all the boys na sinasabi wala tayong alam like ano yung story about doon sa boys na yun and doon sa nakita ko kasi sa movie meron siya naging boyfriend doon sa to all the boys na yun pero doon sa movie hindi ko nakita doon yung family yung side ng lalaki puro side lang ng babae friends then kapag meron namang ano like sa school wala naman ako nakita magandang event na magandang ikwento like normal na sitwasyon na normal na happening pag nasa school high school life so yun lang may nahanap ako ng magandang event pero hindi ko makita yung magandang moments magandang kwento pero wala pa akong nakikita magandang and I'm currently at chapter 7 I was too slow reading this because hindi ko ma-feel yung paggawa ng book niya parang umiikot sa kanilang family halos karamihan doon sa una ng book 
wala dun sa to all the boys yung family, syempre kung nagpupunto siya na dapat ng family niya dapat pinagpunto na rin yung family ng bo boys na yun o kasi naman yung magiging boyfriend niya, diba? so, yun ang masasabi ko see you later so, hi guys, good evening and right now nasa page 14 na ako yun, doon pa palang nararamdaman yung yung story na nagmamatch dun sa title. So, yun, bago mag page 40, um, hinatid na nila yung kapatid niya sa airport kasi mag-aaral sa Scotland, which is, her name is um, Margot. And then, siya na yung nag-drive ngayon ng car. Ng car ni Margot yata yun. So, siya yung nag-drive and then accident siya guys. Then, after na accident, may ako kasi hindi niya alam kung nasaan siya. So, buti na lang, matagal siya nag-stay doon sa lugar ay natatakot siya. And then, tinawagan niya yung boyfriend ng kapatid niya. Pero, yun ay nag-break na bago umalis ng bansa kasi mag-aaral sa ibang bansa. Ayan, ng distance relationship, yun na ganyan. Kaya, nag-break na yun si Josh. So, yun ang tinawagan niya just to para makamingin ng tulong. Then, nag-iyak-iyak siya doon. Buti nang dumaan si um, Peter. So, si Peter yung uh, nag-ano sa kanya. Nag-sumama. Sinamahan siya doon sa lugar na yun. Hanggang sa dumating yung si Josh. And doon, doon pa lang na naroon naman yung start ng story. So, kasi doon sa movie kasi alam ko si Peter yung kanyang kalab team. Kalab team. Kalab team doon eh sa limang boys. So, si Josh kasi, crush niya, pero boy, boyfriend yun ng kanyang kapatid. So, yun. Doon pala nag-start, we will see <laughs> what will gonna happen after nung uh, tulungan siya kasi na si Rayata yung sasakyan. And, yeah. Hi guys, good evening. So, <laughs> ngayon ko pala nararamdaman yung story ng book. Kasi, ka kasi kanina, naboboring ako. So, parang, wala doon yung story na hinahanap ko na na may relate ko sa title. Ngayon, na, medyo nasa ano na ako. Um, Malapit-lapit na ako sa kalagit na ako. Pero hindi, wala pa guys. Kailangan maka 100 page ako ngayon bago ako matulog. So, yeah. Ito na. Nararamdaman ko na yung page. <laughs> so, crush na talaga si si Peter. So, <laughs> ayun. Binasa ko yung letter niya kay Peter, guys. Super haba. Pa papakita ko sa inyo, guys. Ito haba yung binasa ko. Ito yung letter niya. Super haba. Ayan. Ang ganyan. Ito siya. Ayan. So, ayan na lang dito sa likod. <laughs> Pero yung pinaka nagustuhan ko sa let Guys, yung pinaka love ko na part is yung letter sa last part. Yung sinabi niya. Una, yung pinaka gusto ko, I know for sure that I am also over you. I'm immune to you now. <laughs> Then, yung pinaka next na gusto ko sa letter ay, Now, I never ever have to worry about catching you again. What a relief. I bet if I did ever kiss you again, I would definitely catch something and it wouldn't be love. It would be STD. <laughs> it would be an STD. <laughs> Natutawa ako dun. So, continue na natin yung basa, guys.
and then I turn the reading all the boys I love before and yeah I realized that that uh, the main character here which is Larry uh, to uh, what's the name of the boy Peter is um nagpapanggap sila ng mga boyfriend and this is story pero pero nagkakatotohanan sila guys so yun na so I'm trying to be being and yeah let's read it again <laughs> na ano gusto ko na siyang tapusin kasi I allotted my time to finish this for 3 days and I have many books to read uh, so tomorrow we're going to pick another book ba or yung next na pala nga nito yung next na nito mabasahin natin which is ESLW and then afterward always and forever so uh huh <laughs> I am too tired a little and I started and right now I am uh, reading books just to refresh my mind not to stress my mind and not to pressure so yeah let's read it guys
and in this story, in this page moment, um, Lara Jane and Peter attended Halloween party with their costumes. And Lara Jane is wearing a Harry Potter costume, like me and Myrtle. So do you remember Myrtle in Harry Potter? She, yeah, she was wearing that costume. And <laughs> look, um, Peter wearing Spider-Man and she, he won. He won to that Halloween party. And also the sister of Lara Jane Wynn, Catwoman, and she won with that costume so <laughs> I'm enjoying right now the story and yeah it is somewhat like a high school life <laughs> so um napakaganda maganda din kasi she was a family oriented person that's why she included family in the book in the book so yeah taposin na natin to ngayon or maybe tomorrow morning kasi uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna read my two uh, MS um, diseases, MS topic system. So, tatapos na natin ito ngayon. So, yeah, see you later or tomorrow. See you later, guys! Watching the movie to all the boys I love before. <laughs> and guys, while watching the movie, I am currently reading the book itself. <laughs> so
So I'm currently at page 211 and the book was okay. It was full of love. Like you were in high school. Actually, I finished the movie. <laughs> so this, to all the boys I love it for is more on high school moments. So yeah. So... <laughs> The book was really amazing, so I rated it for almost five, and it shows uh, family, shows love, and shows cares with one another, and it shows communication is most important thing when it comes to love. So yeah. I am finishing it right now, so <laughs> I'm so excited to finish this book. This is the last day of my readathon when it comes to my first week of reading. Reading vlog included the readathon for the month of August, and yeah, you this video will be headed and uploaded and dropped by tomorrow or in day if I have time because I'm gonna study uh, one system at MS and yeah I feel great so sometimes we need to read books to, in order for us to feel happy and feel great great you know by the fact that we are suffering a little for a lot crisis you know the crisis is too weird and we need to relax our mind and at the same time we are studying to take board exam this November especially the nursing and history examination so books help us uh, to make us relax in the moment that we are so stressed <laughs> so yeah and happy reading and keep on reading guys see you later so guys, I'm done reading this book and I learned a lot guys. So the best uh, way to have trust is to have a communication. If you don't have communication, there's no way you can trust. So we need to trust our loved ones, especially lalaki. Dapat yung mamahalin natin lalaki, kaya niya, kaya niya tayong dalhin. Kasi siya yung halili eh. The man must know how to handle a girl, diba? right? So, he must be responsible and very, ano to, what do you call, responsible and mature enough. Because he is a man, eh? Diba? So, yeah. In this book, parang, there, maraming nawawala sa movie. So, in this book, there is a lot of cut in the movie, but in the book, it is, it is well explained, it is on detailed, and maraming nawawala sa movie. Na mga konti lang siguro, in 100%, I think mga 40% na nawawala sa movie. So, but then, it's okay. I read the book, and this is the completeness of the movie. Boom. And yeah, so I realized that this book uh, expresses that you should be careful on everything you do, especially when it comes to public. Like uh, when you have a boyfriend and girlfriend, like you know, uh, like nangyari dito sa mag boyfriend, mag girlfriend ito si Peter and Lara Jane. Uh, she, they had a uh, like somewhat kissing scene in the hot tub in which in public na kung saan all of the students were agonizing that maybe they had sex but it, it they not they don't they didn't do sex on the hot tub it's it seems like pa nakita mo sila para nang sex pero hindi nakihalikan lang sila dun sa tub they kissing that's it and someone pictures them while doing kissing in the hotel and they said they have a sex and 
be promoting it as Kanta in school and maybe I think the ex-girlfriend of of Peter did those things my name is Jennifer I think so yeah we <laughs> we are very eager to know the story and the part 2 is on the way I think ginagawa na yung movie ng part 2 PS I love you so magandang story guys so nag nagtapos na sila doon sa part na um nagkabalikan ulit sila eh pero dito sa book na nito parang wala yung part na pumunta si Tara dito sa school pero sa ano sa movie pumunta siya doon and then sinabi niya na uh, she liked the she likes Peter pero dito sa libro na nakalagay sa holding page ay when I'm back in my room in the final night out, I get out a special flowy pen and good pink stationery. I, I start to write not goodbye letter, just a plain old love letter, dear Peter. So yun lang, wala na sinabi dito na pumunta sa school or maybe I was, wala, wala akong nabasa. So maybe yun na yung part 2 guys. So nagkabalikan na sila, yun Peter. Um, when, I, when, when they are in the seventh grade, uh, Peter thinks that uh, Lara J is cute na. So, there is a feeling already. It doesn't show. So, kasi mga bata pa sila na guys. So, maraming nawawalang story guys, lalo sa what tap, hot tap, after tumaris na nila, nakalagay sa libro. It says in the book that, um, Peter wipes wipes the legs of Lara Chase and the body and they they, 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 ano, they let it dry. Peter let dry the body of Lara J so before going to bed ganun. Then marami na wala sa, ano, sa movie but it's okay guys. So yeah, I'm done with it. <laughs> So it's about 355 pages and our next book to read is Yes, I still love you. So we are now going to volume 2. And I think it's on the way <laughs> of doing the movie. So, wala pang movie to. So, I will gonna read this volume 2. And it's total of 337 pages. So, yeah. I'm done with it. And I'm so happy with it. And now I am gonna read this after um, studying one system or two system by tomorrow because the one system that I will going to study tomorrow is too long. After that, I'm going to read this to refresh my mind to re to to give to have <laughs> to have a good mood of studying. So I will gonna read this after studying. Yeah. And this book is so good from Jenny Han. Jenny Han is Jenny Han is an author of the New York Times bestselling books. Known to all the boys I love you for and the summer I turned pre I turned pretty trilogy. She has also written two middle grades novels, Shag and Clara Lee and the Apple Pie Train. She co-wrote the Burn and Burn trilogy with Siobhan Vivian. Jenny lives in Brooklyn, New York. Visit her. <laughs> Kalagay dito. Binasa ko lang. <laughs> so, ayun. Parang gusto ko hanapin yung kanyang isang libro na The Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy siya. Statler rin siya. So, yeah. See you in any other day and I'm going to sleep. Sleep.
happily. <laughs> Yun ang kagandahan pang nagbabasa ng libro. So, after so stressed studying and before before you go into sleep, you're gonna read books. It refreshes your mind and it, it releases the stress and pressure that you're thinking and you're really happy with this story. You just pick the good books and books to read. So, yeah.